Hey guys, Tuvo Cruz here, checking in with... Tunjan! We're here with Tunjan, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a change of pace. We're going to be going for a nice little walk. Yeah. So Tunjan loves her walks, and <laughs> we normally ride our bikes, but in today's video, we're going to go for a walk. Yeah. We've got a bit we want to talk about. The most important thing is we're going to be going to Singapore. Singapore! So we're really excited, and... We're going to talk more about that on today's walk. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go. Let's go. So it is Friday evening here in Da Nang, Vietnam. The main roads are actually really busy. It was really loud over here. So we're going to be walking over this way and get away from the cars. This is the night market, Cho Dem Son Cha. And this place gets pretty busy late at night. So maybe by the time we finish the video, it'll be getting a little darker and more people will be over here. They're setting up right now. So they're allowing the, the bike traffic to get in here. Jeez, not a place you really need to beep, but okay. So we're gonna check it out right now. So yeah, lots of food places here, lots of clothes and random stuff that they sell. So that's pretty fun. You've got this nifty fake tree here as well. Check out that sky right now though. Look at those nasty clouds. So I've noticed a pretty common weather pattern here and that is it always rains in the evening, or like around sunset time. That's when all the, the clouds come out and all the rainstorms come out. So I often do my evening night ride. So I, get, I got stuck in the rain yesterday actually. We're gonna head over this way. One of the difficult things with filming here is every place will be blasting music no matter where you are so there's always copyright music we got to be careful about so we might be doing a couple cuts but check out that cool sunset and it is the weekend or sorry i lied it's not friday it's saturday evening i'm getting my days mixed up um, so on the weekend on saturdays and sundays this dragon bridge will have a fire show and water show the dragon will spurt fire from its mouth and some water from its mouth but that's a little bit later. What time is that, Tung? Uh, 9 p.m. 9 p.m.? Yeah. Yeah. So About Tung's filmed a bunch of videos there from the walking tour, so if you want to see that. I don't think we're going to stay out here that late. It's actually close enough from our apartment. We can see it from our apartment window, which is pretty cool. Pro tip, don't stand over there because you will get hit with the water. A lot of people learn that the hard way. So once we cross the road, we'll start talking about our main topic today, which is we're planning a trip to Singapore. Uh, we're not moving there or anything. It's just a normal, like, tourist kind of trip. We got to be careful here. Uh, Tung's got the pro stop move. So let's make sure we're going together. Tung's going to block the road for us. Okay. That's one side done. And the other side. Some people just speed by, they don't care. <laughs> All right, here we are. If you come here nice and early, you get the whole place to yourself. Beautiful view. We're really happy we live over this way because we get to see the, the Dragon Bridge and finish and start a lot of our rides over here. It's unfortunate though, it's that the roads are so loud with all the, the beeping and everything. Otherwise, this would be like a really nice place to just hang out and chill. I guess if you live here long enough, the, the beeping, you don't hear it anymore. Look at that dark cloud, though. I really hope it doesn't rain. That would suck. But we got our waterproof bag, always, just in case. There we go. Beautiful. Actually, this wasn't planned, but this is a good transition that we're going to Singapore and they have the mock like Singapore merlion statue over here, which is really funny. So that's actually a perfect transition into today's video topic. Are you excited to go to Singapore, Tun Chen? Yeah, I'm really. I'm waiting to go to Singapore about two years. Two years? Yeah, last year, before we started our trip, like leaving Japan, mm -hmm. our first plan was to go to Singapore. Yep. 
um, because it looked like it was easier to get over there at that time, like with the easing of restrictions and stuff, but that didn't end up happening. We ended up going to Thailand from Japan first, and then from Thailand we came here to Vietnam, so we've been waiting a long time to go to Singapore. Yes. Yeah. And so we're going to be going there at the end of this month. It's September right now, so we'll be there from the end of September to the early October. So we'll be there for about one week. And we're still making our plans and everything right now, so we really need your suggestions. We're starting to make our bookings. We haven't booked our hotel yet. And yeah, we haven't planned anything. We bought our plane tickets. That's it. I think we're going to try and rent some bikes there. We'll see what we're going to do. We want to bring our road bikes, but the plane ticket, like it doubles in price to, to fly with the bikes there. So I think we're going to try and rent something while we're there. We're going to be doing a bit more walking while we're there as well and doing some normal touristy stuff. So we're going to try and film a mix of cycling videos, walking videos, tourist videos, food videos, bike shop tour videos, of course. Yeah. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, you want to go to the popular tourist spots, yes. for example? So so beautiful. Yeah. For example, where? Um, I'm not easy in my phone. Uh, you don't remember the name, but you have the, the yeah. memo in your phone. Yes. Merlion Park. Merlion Park? Yes. Yeah, that's the same as this guy over here. We'll go check him out in a second. Yes. Uh, Marina, Marina Bay Shandro. Uh huh. Marina Bay. Yeah. Chinatown. Chinatown. Indo and Malay. India, Little India? Yeah, yeah, India. And Malaysia town? Yes. And... Mada, mada aru. <laughs> There's still more. Yeah. Oh, okay. Garden by the bay. Garden by this the one. bay. Yes. Yeah. So beautiful. So beautiful. Yeah. So let's take a quick look over here. We've got the fake Merlion Park. <laughs> this one doesn't spit water like the other one, but it's a pretty similar vibe actually, I think. We've gotten a few warnings from people saying that like the, the weather's really humid and hot, but looking at the weather over there, it looks actually to be the same here as Da Nang, so I think we should be pretty well suited to that now. Same humidity, same temperature. So that shouldn't be a problem. One of the things I'm really excited about in Singapore is just to be in a place with like really nice, clean infrastructure again. I wonder how busy the roads are and if there's any beeping. I haven't been to Singapore yet, so I'm really excited and I know they have some pretty decent infrastructure for like pedestrians, for walking, for cycling. There's a whole network of like paths where they connect bike paths between the parks. So you have a safe place to cycle away from the cars. So I'm really excited to check that out. Actually here in Da Nang, there are some decent like wide sidewalks like we're at right now, but it's not everywhere and you can't really cycle on them for too long before they end. Here we go, the Danang Merlion. I'm not sure what they call it here. Looking good. Looks like we've got a few shops over here. Get some snacks, get some drinks. But they are blasting the music again, so I might have to do some random cuts here. I guess this is a popular photo spot. So tinte. There we go. Thumbs up guys, Tunchan and the Dragon Bridge. <laughs> There you go, we got the boat restaurant over here. But yeah, if any of you guys have been to Singapore, please let us know down in the comments your suggestions. Where should we go? Uh, what bike shops should we check out? And where should we go cycling? Any recommended routes? Any recommended places we need to visit? Definitely interested in hearing your guys' suggestions. Yeah, this is where the, the nice wide sidewalk ends and it turns into this sort of more narrow one and it's a bit dangerous because there's a lot of bikes that pass through here. They use it as parking, so not the most ideal. Tunchan's walked over here a lot. This is actually my first time walking over this way. We've cycled by this way quite a bit, but yeah, it's unfortunate. Like this would be a really nice area to just get a snack by the bay, to get a snack here by the river, but it is kind of like gassy, like there's a gassy smell here with all the bikes, all the exhaust, and it's really loud, of course, with all the bikes going by. It'd be nice if they had some more separation. A lot of people do use this as like a walking area, 
and a running area. You can actually run on the other side of the river as well. It's a bit nicer over that way. It's a bit more open. This is cool though. Check out this boat. Boat restaurant. Is it a real boat? I'm not sure. Some of them are fake boats, I think. Yeah, it looks like a fake boat. I could be wrong. I don't know. Anyone knows, let me know. <laughs> So yeah, we're really excited to go out for our first kind of like traveling in a long time. And like we've been here in Vietnam for quite a while now, almost a half year, which is crazy to think. And the only trips we've really done here so far are visiting her hometown. We've gone to Chuan Chan's hometown twice now, and we haven't done any traveling other than that. And both times that we visited her hometown, I unfortunately got sick both times. First time food poisoning, the second time, food poisoning and COVID or just the new variant of COVID where there's like food poisoning like symptoms. I'm not sure, but in any case, I got sick both times. And that's the, what I want to transition into another topic for today's video. And that is motivation, which is something I've been struggling with lately. When we first moved here, I was really motivated to do a lot of training, to do a lot of cycling, to get a lot of KOMs on Strava and i was doing really good for my first few weeks here and then when i visited her hometown the first time i got sick i lost a lot of time not being able to train and but after that i was able to rebound i was pretty excited because the race here in danang was coming up and so i got motivated again i trained again i got back some of the fitness i did okay in the race and then after the race i got sick again so it's just been, it's tough when you, you do all that training to get to a certain fitness level and then just one small thing, you lose it all. So that's been really demotivating for me lately. And recently I haven't been able to bring myself back into the, the routine of training hard again to get back the fitness I lost. Check this out. You can just fall in the river here. Chun Chan on the other hand has been the opposite. She's been very motivated lately. She's been training a lot yeah. by herself sometimes. Yeah. Some early morning she'll get up and she'll finish her ride before I even wake up. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> so why are you so motivated lately? Rivalry Oh, you got a rival now? Yep. Yep. <laughs> She's so strong. Yeah. So Tung's got a new female cycling friend here. Yep. And now they're fighting over some of the KOMs. And it's helping Tun Chan be motivated to, to train more, go after some KOMs on Strava. Yeah. Okay, that was pretty scary. Did you hear that, guys? There was a, there was a bike accident. Pretty common occurrence here, I think. Jeez, we've been doing a lot more indoor cycling lately. Just it's, it's safer especially like this time of day, the, the rush hour. Going back to Tun Chan's rival though. Yeah, my rival. Uh -huh. Yeah. Printer. Yep. Climb. Hill climb. Hill climb. Dotchi mo tsuyoi. Yep. Yabai tsuyoi. Yabai tsuyoi. Oku no toko yori hayai. Yep. Ma, my shoe ga oki na otoko no group, hayai no group iso ni training suru. Oh. Yeah. In English. My rival, she's so strong. So strong. She is a sprinter. Yep. And hill climber. Yep. Yeah, we've been, I've been trying to train Tun Chan in cycling ever since we met. And like she's been motivated to go on some adventure rides, especially in Japan, like Lake Biwa mm -hmm. and Shimanami Kaido. And going on some adventure rides here, she really enjoys them. But I've never been able to get her like motivated to train like physically to go for like KOMs and that stuff. But recently she's been very motivated and training very hard. Mm -hmm. She's been riding more than I have this last month. She's training on average like two or three more hours per week than me lately. So we're kind of inversing roles, which is kind of funny, but I don't know. Motivation comes in waves. So sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Mm -hmm. And I think we're going to take it a little easier now because we're going to be traveling more. We're going to go to Singapore. So there's no point in like training like crazy right now just to, to go and like ruin your routine and do some traveling. Also the rainy season 
is coming here in Vietnam soon, so we're not going to be able to ride as much, I think. Ah, so, nande? Uh, uh, yeah, I tried telling her this like years ago, like the stronger you get, the easier, the more cycling is enjoyable, like when you go on easy rides, because if you're not in that great of shape, even if you do an easy ride, you still get kind of tired. But if you're in decent shape and you go for an easy long ride, it doesn't phase you at all. So finally, she understands. <laughs> oh, only took how many years? <laughs> Three years, four years. Three years, five four years, years wait, five years waiting. Yeah. Yep, okay. Long, long, long. Long time. Long time. I understand now. Yeah. We're going to start making our way back. And yeah, we got a lot of planning we're trying to do before our trip. Uh, make sure everything is ready. And it's always like scary traveling during these times because you don't know like the current COVID restrictions. You want to try and make sure you follow every rules. Um, but it looks like going to Singapore now, you don't need anything going there. Like you can be vaccinated or not vaccinated. We are vaccinated, so we just, I, I'm not even sure if we need to bring our records, but we're going to bring them just in case. You don't need to get the COVID test before the flight, which is nice. We've had to do that multiple times now. It's been really annoying. And the same thing coming back to Vietnam, it shouldn't be a problem. So we're gonna bring all our documents just in case. And the great thing about Singapore is, oh, there's a mouse. <laughs> it's one of the few countries where Tun Chan can visit visa-free. So she can go there for 30 days. <laughs> there goes the little guy. Hey, <laughs> we announced this on our Facebook page yesterday, actually. We've got a few suggestions already. Some people saying we should cycle all around Singapore and some saying we should go to Malaysia as well. We can cross the border. I'm not sure the rules on that. Apparently, like Tun did a little bit of research into it. She can enter Malaysia as a Vietnamese citizen for a few weeks. Uh, we're not sure like how it works if she goes into Malaysia and then she comes back to Singapore if she needs to get a new visa or if it would start over. Um, so if any of you have any experience with that, please let us know. That'd be cool if we could visit both places. This is kind of like a trial run. We're just going for a week right now, but if we really like it, we're definitely gonna go again because it's only like a two hour direct flight from Da Nang here. It's not that expensive. It's like $150 per person for the, the flight ticket without any luggage. If you buy extra luggage, like if we bring our bikes, it's gonna double that price. But yeah, if we really like it, I think we're gonna do a couple more trips there. Definitely, we love visiting the countries where it's easier without having to apply for the visa for Chun Chan. Another place we're looking to visit is Taiwan. Apparently, they're opening up to like Americans normally, like not needing the, the visa, we can start visiting again. I think from this month, but Chun needs the visa. I'm not sure how difficult it is to apply. Before it was easier because she had the Japanese residence card, but she doesn't have that anymore. So I think it's a little more difficult for her to go this time. But yeah, hopefully some more travel is in store for our future coming up these next few months, especially if the weather's gonna be bad here in Da Nang during the rainy season. We wanna get out of here, I think, and explore some new places. And then maybe after traveling for a while, we'll be tired of that and wanna get back to a, a normal healthy routine. And, the motivation for cycling will be pretty strong again. I'm really looking forward to the, the winter months here because this has been a long, hot summer, like every day, just really hot. Even if you get up early in the morning and ride late in the evening, it's still pretty decently hot and humid. You're gonna be sweating a decent amount. But the winter months, it's not really winter here, it's, it's, but it's cooler. It's nice, comfortable, cool weather, which I'm really excited about. So looking forward to that weather when it comes. All right, is there anything else you wanted to say to Enchan? Yeah, I have. What is that? I want to cycle around Singapore, one lap. One lap? Yeah. Around Singapore? Yeah. Yeah, we have to figure out what bikes we're going to use. We're still debating. We might bring the road bikes, like if we decide that's the best thing, if we're going to do a lot of serious cycling. But I think we might also try the folding bikes. 
So the, the folding bikes that we're using, they're actually, the company's based out of Singapore. We're gonna try and maybe set something up with them if we can. And that'd be cool if we can use some folding bikes while we're there. Mm -hmm. That'll be a long ride on folding bikes. Maybe, I think it's 150K if you do the full, mm -hmm. the real full lap, but you can do a shorter like 70K kind of full lap where it doesn't do the full outer ring, I guess. We'll figure it out. Um, if you have a suggested like loop around Singapore, what's the best route? the most comfortable route with like the nicest bike pass and the nicest places to stop along the way. Uh, definitely would appreciate any information we can get. Looking forward to it. And, and get a QM in Singapore. Get a QM in Singapore, I don't think so. You need uh, your road bike for that. Uh, yeah, maybe. Yeah, not on the folding bike. I think that'll be impossible. I don't know, how strong is the cycling scene in Singapore? I imagine there's gotta be some strong people there. That'd be fun. I always love KOM hunting in other countries. It's been pretty easy here in Vietnam. Uh, Chiang Mai was pretty tough. There was uh, some decent KOMs there. All right, guys, I think that's it for today's video. We're gonna finish this up here and we're gonna finish up our walk, head home, find something for dinner. What are we gonna eat tonight? I don't know, maybe Vietnamese food? Maybe Vietnamese food. Yeah. We're excited for Singapore food though. Yeah. Indian food, Malaysian food, yeah. all the, the fusion, yeah. the combination. Yeah. Really excited to try yeah. some different foods. Mm -hmm. So also let us know your suggested like must eat foods or restaurants in Singapore if you have any. That's it for today's video guys. We wanna say a special thank you to all of our awesome supporters over on Patreon. Thanks to your guys' support, we're able to film more videos like this. And I'm really excited about this trip because we're gonna be filming multiple videos every day. Like in reality, this is kind of like a business trip. We're gonna be filming a bunch of walking videos for Toon's channel a bunch of videos on our two old cruise channel so we'll be increasing our upload rate so multiple videos per week once we get those filmed and we're really excited to share those with you guys anyway that's it for today we'll see you next time on two old cruise